Get mm -hmm. your money up. Let's bet. Bet good. This is the Smash and Dash Podcast. Smash and Dash Podcast. Yes, sir. What's up, man? This is the Smash and Dash Podcast. I'm Chris Johnson. I'm Linda White. Welcome back to the Smash and Dash Sports Betting Podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny, man? Nah, man. Mr. Lock of the Week. You're full of it. How am I full of it? Lock of the Week? My Lock of the Week almost hit, though. Almost. I never see, listen, this is the thing about oh it, bro. Oh, my gosh. Let's Sometimes go. Sometimes you got to get, get out your feelings, bro. Let's... Like, bro, I didn't never, I never said y'all was going to lose. I said Lock of the Week. The spread was minus 16. I didn't go with the Lock. By, I took USC money line. But it's just funny to me that when USC I, but, comes up, you always want to go opposite. Bro, you know saying. you should have took USC no, versus West Coast. I didn't like them minus 16. Okay, when, well, I didn't like, I lost that. You, hey, you I shit it on the money, twin. When I'm wrong, I can own up to it. But when when I lock of the week, you gotta no, ride with your boy. Cause I be I be here, Nick. You know what to do, man. I be here. Play the play that shit, man, mm -hmm. for this man mm -hmm. in them locks of the week, so he understands. Played the last week. No, no, no. You that was one, that was one. Right, you I, I'm putting the highlight reel together. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I'm gonna put a, a highlight reel together. But mm -hmm. hey, man, we sponsored by our guys, the Steady Picks, and we shot here Bro, in Orlando by High Hello Labs. Orlando, Florida, where we shoot every single week. You dig? It's yeah. got to, but we gonna get straight into it, man. Mm. It's a good one. You want they, me to knock it off? You can go man? ahead, okay, man. man. Yeah, let me get in this one, man. They going hey, across the pond for that one, man. They going across the pond, man. Jets versus the Vikings in London, man. Jets, two and two, Vikings, four and oh. Yeah. Um, A-Rod, he been looking a little shaky uh, this year. Brees Hall. He he started out hot. Yeah, he's not been he he been looking regular, dog. <laughs> oh man! And I, I said he was going to lead the league in rushing. Right, right, right. Then you got Justin Jefferson versus the Sauce Guard in the matchup. Yeah, I think Sauce should travel. He got to travel with him. Like this, where you get like if you want to be the number one guy. Yeah. Like I seen a guy like. What's the guy? Darrell Reeves. Tell him, yes, the island. Yeah, the island. Bro, he's he far, traveling. He's traveling. So, uh, you know, they got um, Vikings um, minus two and a half. J E T S. Jets, Jets, Jets. I'm taking going Jets. You taking Jets? I'm taking A Rod, Sauce Gardner, and, and Garrett Wilson. Ooh. I love, listen, I told you I'd be doing reverse psychology. I be wanting the Vikings to go to five and zero just for Sam Darnold's sake. That's a USC Trojan. He's my guy. He's right. been looking like you know, he looks like the number two draft pick. Or like you know, when they draft you in the top ten, he was number two. I think he was the number two oh, pick wow. yeah. with the Jets, but that's before they got the Jets all the shit that they got. Right, right, right. But I mean, I feel like he looks good. So I'm gonna hopefully do a reverse because I won't be mad if the Vikings do win based on just my guy having a good game. But right. I just think that the Jets. Um, they lost to the, the to Denver last week by a field goal. The points were absent in that game. I don't know, like A Rod. I don't know if defense, if Denver's defense was just biting like that. <laughs> but right. for some reason, A Rod definitely didn't look good. But I just for some in these type of games or in this situation, especially going over the pond like that and, mm -hmm. and traveling, I just I'm taking A Rod because he's he's been. He's battle tested. Yeah, man. he's battle tested. And two tested. and two ain't that bad of us. Like you don't two and two is not a bad start. Yeah, they, yeah. I'm 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 taking a ride as well. I don't see the Vikings covering this minus two and a half. Um, the total is forty and a half. You like the over under? Considering, well, I mean, Matt Sam put up twenty eight in the first half last week. Um, the 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 Jets with all that high flying powered offense only put up nine points. Dang, I'm Don't taking it over. Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones been doing. I'm taking the this year. yeah. I'm taking the over. I'm taking the over. I think they go across the pond and the Jets open up the offense finally. I right, think that right. they finally get their offense down going on the right track. I think Garrett Wilson has a big game. Okay. I ain't ready to put no locks in yet. I ain't. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't ready for that. I ain't ready for that. Yeah, I'm taking the over in that one too. Um, I'm taking the over in that one. And I got a lock of the week. Oh, man. Here we go. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Sauce Gardner going to get a pick. Ooh, Sauce. He coming to play. Sauce getting a pick. Sauce getting a pick. Hmm. Sam, Sam Darnold going to throw my boy one. 
He gonna get a pick. Lock bro, I just week. told you how I feel about Sam, and that's how you hey, lock out. I'm Foss. just saying. He's out of pocket. He gonna man. Salsa Gardner gonna get a pick. This man's this out week. of pocket. Salsa Gardner getting a pick this week. Yeah, all right. Well, lock of the week. He say no. Sauce getting a pick. I respect yeah. it. Now we got Lamar Eugene Jackson's Ravens mm. heading into Pac-Man's Bengals. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Pac-Man's Bengals have not been looking good at all, man. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I thought they just won. They yeah, just no, they won. did win, but they, it wasn't like a, it wasn't convincing like that. They still were struggling right. about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Ravens haven't really looked amazing like they, like they have in the past. They're yeah. two and two. Yeah. The, Bing, the Bengals, brother, are one and three. Mm. Um, Derrick Henry looked like Derrick Henry of the past. Of the past, yeah. Hitting almost 22 miles an hour. Um... Before we get into that game, what I want to know, where would you rank Derrick Henry right now as far as running backs in the NFL right now? Right now? Yeah. Considering he scored every week. Right. He, he has a touchdown every week. He's um, still top of his game. Yeah. I, I don't I don't think I can say another guy that I would say, oh, um maybe say if I on. can right now, would I trade for a guy? No, I would I trade for Saquon in the place of um Derek, no, nah, not right no. now because yeah. he's doing his thing. Yeah, he's doing it. Like, so when you say where do we rank right now, um, I just feel like I don't see no other back in the league right now that I was replaced there with. Yeah, I respect. It, I see what you're I saying. I won't replace him with nobody. Like, he's doing his thing. Yeah, he almost hit 22 miles per hour. It just shows you, like, it don't matter how old you is as a running back. If they just give you the touches, you're going to do Eventually. what you like. Come on. You're going to do what you like. Man, and gonna that's do. what Derrick Henry feeds. Like, the more you give him the ball, eventually he gets going. We all right. know that, man. So, right. to, to to hit 21.7 as the exact, but to almost hit 22, well, and they say your, the tires is worn off them or the, the tread is worn off them tires, I can't. I ain't rocking. I think he got like 480. Yeah, the in man, the man like, is rocking good. He's, leading, he's either leading the league or he's – Top three in the league in rushing. He's playing some ball. Right. Okay, so. one more question then. Would you rather have cool uh, Joe Burrow as a quarterback or would you rather have Lamar Eugene Jackson? Eugene Jackson, man. Yeah, he a Eugene for a reason, man. And he's a back to – he's a two-time, not one. He's a two-time MVP of the NFL. Yeah, I'm taking Lamar Eugene well, Lamar Jackson. The, yeah. Lamar two-time? So Lamar Eugene Jackson, a two-time MVP of the league. Oh, wow. I'm taking Lamar Eugene Jackson. That's and it. with that being said, they had the Ravens at minus two and a half. What you got? I'm taking the Ravens. You're taking the Ravens? I'm at taking Lamar two and Eugene. Especially, yeah, I'm taking it's this is a bank the Bing, the Bengals, Pac Man voice. They're at home. I know Pac probably gonna mm. be there trying to get them boys, some, you know what I mean? But I'm taking the Ravens. I just think Lamar and, and Derek, they have that run game where they need it to be. Right. I don't see the Ravens covering. I'm taking Cincinnati. Oh, so they gonna probably lose by one point. I'm going Cincinnati. I'm, all right, is that a lock? I'm taking Cincinnati. Okay, I'm just asking if it's a lock. All right, they got they got it. I'm taking Ravens. They got the the, to, the total at fifty and a half. Mm. I think mm. Joe. I think Joe will come out and score some points this week. Um, I think their offense is getting back to where they want to get it to. I, I, I I'm gonna take that over. I'm gonna take the over as well in that game. We'll I just think over. Lamar has enough. The, what I can say is that the 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 Bengals have not showed me <clears throat> shit on defense, so I'm right. taking Lamar is definitely gonna put the points up. Right. Yeah, and I definitely. Yeah, and Lamar is a better quarterback than Joe Burrow like at Lamar. this point in their career. Joe Burrow's cold. I'm not gonna say he's not, but I just think Lamar is better. That's just yeah. hey, argue next, with your mammy. Hey, next up we got the Bills. We got Buffalo Bills versus Houston Texans. Yes, sir. Ah, the spread. Dang. Hold up. Before I go to the spread, both teams are three and one. Um, <laughs> Josh Allen still have yet to throw an interception this season, so you know that goes to why they're probably three and one. Because you know, Josh Allen usually a uh, uh, throw a pick. He he usually get that ball, he give you a present. But you know he's been there doing good. He's been protecting the ball. Um. Mm. Oh man, Josh Allen, he's been the underdog in back to back weeks the last two weeks. So um they got Texans at minus one. I'm going I'm taking D'Amico Ryan's Texans, baby. I'm taking I just, the Texans. Yeah, man. Like y'all keep scaring me with this man ain't thrown a pick yet. 
When I know a man ain't throwing pick and he's the, the guy that's known for throwing all these, he right. gives presents away. He, I mean, he's Santa, coming. man. He's known for being Santa. That's a known fact. So I just think D'Amico knows how to call that defense, man. And he got them, like, that secondary, they know how to play. Um, CJ Stroud mm. is truly, he's one of them. Like, he's, I told, I said this a couple shows back that he probably be a bit, will be up there for, um, the the MVP and if he keeps playing like this, well, it's it's gonna be hard not to not put him around there. He's he's balling. He's and he's beating these teams that they saying the other MVPs are on. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, with that being said, so you taking so I like and that they look MVP. regular. Like listen, Ooh, the like the Bills look MVP talk. the Bills look normal last week against the Ravens. Like right. you know what I'm saying? They weren't able to move the ball at all. The Ravens had it easy, and I'm not saying that. Josh Allen can't do it, but I they better get something going. They need right. to get that running game going or something has to be going. Like Josh can't be everything for that team. You gotta have yeah. something to help, you know, match him, or they're not gonna, you know what I mean? He's gonna fold eventually. We've seen it every year. He does so good. And then when it comes to the playoffs or something, like he folds because he does too much. Right, right. Uh, well, yeah. Hey, I think hey, Josh Allen gonna have a shot at that MVP. Yeah, he, he keep playing how he's playing. Um, I'm taking I'm taking Buffalo. Okay, I like Buffalo in this one. All right, that's cute. I definitely like Buffalo. That's fine. I'm taking I'm taking the D'Amico Ryan and C.J. Stroud. I'm okay. taking Nico Collins to have a touchdown too. That's a lock. Nico will have a touchdown this week. Nico Collins is locked for a touchdown. Locked for a touchdown. Yes, sir. A total forty-seven. Forty-seven. I'm going over. Going over 47. Yeah, I'm going over. They're in the dome. Ain't no weather or nothing they got to deal with. I, I like it. Right, right. I'm going over on that one as well. Oh, man. <laughs> I like when I get the cowgirls for some reason. They got um, Dak Prescott's non dougie and ass <laughs> cowboys <laughs> heading in. Hey, Nick, please put the clip of Dak, Dak doing that weak ass Dougie. I'm going to show you. <laughs> We got the weak ass cowgirls heading in to my Beijing clean Steelers, man. And they got Tom. I mean, they got a uh, uh, not a uh, Beijing clean. <laughs> they got my dog Steelers at minus two and a half. Mm. That's crazy. Mm. Who we? The Cowboys are two and two this year. Steelers are three and one. Mm. Justin Fields have been he's been playing really good football. Uh, last week they were down. Yeah, he marched him down though. He had an right. opportunity to win. That he's been looking like a a, a certified leader of the Steelers right, right now. Um, I'm going. I think that right now with, I think if Fields has another game where it's a slow like that, and and they have to come back, they might start off with Russ just to see mm-hmm. what he can do. I just that know what, how. No, nah, that's what I've been saying. I, they flash Russ face on the. TV too many times. Yeah, last he's coming. He's coming. I see balls. it's coming. Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's coming. You and they paid. They, they paid him for that reason. Man, bro. listen, man, it's inevitable. <laughs> listen, but man, we're doing this. It's inevitable. It's, and it's inevitable. Yeah. Hey, and they ain't got. I'm gonna tell you, Michael Parsons. They they say he's probably not gonna. Yeah, I'm taking Beijing clean. I'm taking the Steelers. <laughs> they know how to win ugly games, bro. I've been telling you that for years. You taking Steelers? I'm taking. I'm taking Mike Tom. Yeah, he knows how to win ugly games. And with, with, with Michael Parsons out, where they playing at? Mike Parsons. They playing out. at they playing the Steelers home, and they going the Steelers don't lose at home. Man, listen, man. <laughs> go in, man, go crazy. I gotta go Cowboys. I gotta go Cowboys in this one. I'm gonna go to. I like the Cowboys. Cowboys. He, yeah, he says Cowboys. Cowgirls, I say Steelers. I, I'm not taking the Cowboys until Dak finds a way to redo his Dougie and mm-hmm. come back. Mm-hmm. Until he does, I, I can't go with him. I'm taking the Steelers. And they got the total at 43 points. I like that go over. Easy. Well, Dak better do something. As much money as they paying all them boys on that offense, that they I'm better do something, say. man. They got to put up something. I'm some taking point. over in that one as well. Taking over? Yeah. Okay. We got them Saints at the Chiefs. Paddy Wagon. I know who I'm going with. We got the same, and I think I know who you going with too, man. I, this man, know. yeah, man, I think I know him. he's been on the car bandwagon or whatever. Um, Saints are two and two. Yeah. They lost back to back games. Chiefs are four and zero. Oh. 
Yeah. Rasheed Rice out for the season. Damn. That was ACL, they said? Um, what happened? I what? think it when Mahomes went for the tackle and hit um, Rasheed Rice instead. Yeah. Off the interception. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. Man, be your own partners, man. Yeah. Alvin Kamara was ran off, and now this year he's coming back looking Very like pretty. his old self. Um. Well, yeah, the Chiefs are likely going to be in the market for, looking for a receiver. Wait, so, wait. Am I reading this? What do they mean? So are they going? Are they trying to trade for a receiver right now? Yeah, because they number one. That was they, guess was who we one. guess who they need to go back and get. Two K. What only makes this? What makes the smartest decision? You to go? know, if they go get you, Tyreek. you got to go get Cheetah. I don't think Reek want to go back to that call, man. Man, Reed, had, right the now. way that <laughs> hey hey the way that man had what the dude do for passing last night? Hold on, Tyreek. Tyreek Hill. I'm telling you this right now, man. <laughs> if you're okay, we're playing with these folks, knowing what they did no, last night. Miami kicked up feet. I up know that, man. hey, but sometimes it just ain't about having your feet kicked up. Like people be wanting to make plays. Man, you know man. what? Hey, hey, I I think you know what I think. I see, Twin, I, out of these names, the man had 14 to 22, 96 yards throwing. Tyreek had more rushing yards damn there than he had. Bro, bro my man had Tyreek. I mean. Cheetah had three rushes for 19 yards. He had four catches for 23 yards. It's one or two guys that I say end up in Kansas City. Cooper. Amari Cooper Ooh. or DeAndre Hopkins. Well, I know I I I, I know D Hop. One of the two. Nah, bro. If you're I'm just a, saying I, I respect what you're saying. I, I get it. If you're if you're the Kansas City Chiefs, you know exactly who you need to go get. Yes, but what I'm saying, I just don't see. Miami letting Reek out of there. You right, but sometimes it's like, yeah, you are right. I, I understand that. I don't see it. But you paid Jalen, Jalen Younger. There's, 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 I don't know, man. It's going to be, that's going to be interesting to see that, to see how that plays out. But if yeah. I'm the Kansas City Chiefs, I know damn well, bro. If it ain't Cooper, even Devon, boy, Devontae Adams, I like to see Devontae Adams getting, right. getting some balls, pause from my dog, uh, Mahomes. That'd be dope. Yeah. They got the Chiefs. I'm taking the Chiefs. They got Chiefs at minus five. I'm taking the Chiefs. I ain't going against Patty. Yeah. See. Even without even without Rashid Rice. Yeah, but what's up with your boy? Who? Carr. I thought you No, Carr looks nice. Anyway. Yeah, after two, he dropped back to back. <laughs> but I know that the Chiefs have been throwing, even throwing that up. But Mahomes <laughs> been throwing I wouldn't be surprised my dog Honey Badger walked away with a pick this But week. I'm just saying, um, even the Chiefs, you ain't been getting those um, – 35, 40 yeah. point games. They've been winning like good teams 17, a, 10, good teams 21, find a way to 14 win. and stuff like that. So I like when, like what I've learned in that league and in, in the league that we played in young, you know, it don't, it don't matter if it's like how Denver won, if it's 10 to nine or 11, like, you know, it don't saying? matter as long as, you, as, got long that as win. you get the victory, man. And yeah. good teams find a way to win. The chiefs keep finding a way to win, man. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm taking them. I'm taking cover. the Chiefs at the cover at minus five. I'm Do you um the forty two and a half over? I'm going Point over. Them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because I know the Saints, they got enough high powered offense to put points up. Right. You know what I mean? So I got to take over. I think I took over in all of them. Do guys. they? Do the Chiefs go in this week? Um. Do they get that deal done as far as a trade, or do they go in this week and see how it goes? No, they're definitely they're, they're that's on the, the yeah this week. the receivers on the that's on the list. It's they're for new. sure having somebody's going to be called in. Somebody, hey, is Des Des Bryant still out there? Can he so throw can it the X? Be a lock? So can it be a lock? Who what guy they're going to actually get? You can. Pro- I'm you know sure that saying? we can make a bet. You think? I think they're going to get Tyreek Hill back or Devontae Adams. No, I ain't locking that. I don't know. That'd be the smartest thing to do. Like none of these fools. If I'm any one of these teams, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up Cooper, Devonta, or Reek. Like y'all right. go get somebody else. I'm not giving. But you know, I'm not giving. Browns are the Browns. Browns will do something. like yeah. that. they'll let Cooper. And in my life, I don't care how sorry to do the Browns. I'm not giving you a weapon to go beat me. That sounds right. stupid. That sounds real stupid, man. That's your rebuilding mode. Hey. Well, yeah, seems like we agreed on that one. So, hey, we are on to ooh, college football. Yes, sir. We want to give a huge special shout out to Caesar Sportsbook. Smash and Dash has a special offer for you, new Caesar Sportsbook customers. Use promo code Smash and Dash one thousand and get your first bet back up to a thousand dollars as a bonus bet if you lose your first bet. Take a look at the graphic below for all terms and conditions, and always bet responsibly. Missouri. At Texas A&M, 
Missouri number nine, Texas A and M is ranked twenty number twenty five. Um, mm-hmm. Missouri is undefeated. Um, the te- Texas A and M is four and one. Uh, Missouri ranks top fifty on both sides of the ball. Texas A and M ranked top fifty on defense, mm-hmm. but outside of the top hundred on offense. Damn, Texas A and M, I would never expect that. Yeah, because they lost that receiver, buddy. He out there. No, in the, crazy. in, the, in um, the running back got right. hurt for the year or two, I think, for Texas A and M. But they got, they still got. Even with that being said, um, their offense outside of the um, top hundred, they still got Texas A and M minus two. Um, taking the Tigers. I'm going Missouri. You going Missouri? I'm going Missouri. Um, they got a receiver down there that's cold, man. Uh, I can't think of his name right now, but he's sweet, man. And I, I just think that when I see both, they got the offense and the defense ranked in the top fifty. That's what it is. It's like I don't, I don't know where Texas A and M be getting these points from. Like, where's your offense? Right. If you're outside of the hunt, to be outside of a hundred dogs in, in college football, and you are that it's like this one nineteen. Come on, bro. That don't that doesn't that doesn't excite me, man. So yeah, I'm taking Missouri, man. Yeah. They, at least I know that they can score. Yeah, I'm going Missouri too as well. Um, they have the at forty eight. They have the total at forty eight and a half. I'm taking the over. I like college, college football like, to no, me. It's not. Are, where's these points coming from? Missouri. Missouri going to put up 35, man. Mizzou. The Tigers, baby. They gonna put up, so you taking the over in this I'm one? I'm taking the over. All right, I'm going to take the under in this one. All right, don't be friendly then. I'm going to take the under in this one. I ain't care. And now we're big. The real football is played. Yeah, I know where he probably going to go with this, but hey, it's all right. Losers like to lose. Winners like to win. They have my Trojans. Mm -hmm. Yes, I said my Trojans heading into the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Gophers. (laughs) That's enough for me to know who I'm going to. Yeah, Elmo was my dog. And Lawrence Maroney was my guy. (laughs) Right. Uh, USC is three and one. They got Minnesota at two and three. We met PJ Fleck a couple years ago in Vegas. Remember the head coach of uh, Minnesota? They cool people. I respect it. USC's defense is top 25, and we are <laughs> ranked sixth in the nation in offense. Mm. You know where I'm going. I'm a, I want, what you going? What do you got going? Lock of the week. Yes, sir. Ask mm. ding, ding, ding. This Lock is what I like. The, the craziest man. The freaking like bump his week. head. Mark. Lock of the week. I'm going USC. Yeah, he better. <laughs> the cover, man. Lock of the week. <laughs> I'm going USC to cover. Minus eight. I'm going for them to cover. And I'm going for the over 51 and a half. I'm with you. I'm taking USC to cover this week. Um, I just love mm. our offense. I, you know, we have a good offense. I think the way DeAnton Lynn has been coming in week after week with these halftime adjustments is crazy. Yeah. I seen Michigan. Yes, we did lose a Michigan, but you know, to, to be down, uh, I think, you know, there was up, I think, 14 points at us at halftime to see them not get a first down to the last drive of that game, yeah. to come back against Wisconsin. We were down again in that game. Come back, they didn't score nothing in the second half. We, you know, got the ball from them. For some reason, he's on to something. I just believe, we're not a first half team. I can honestly say that. Right. We're not a first half team. We make adjustments, we come out second half swinging. But yeah, we cover and we go over in this game. And I wouldn't be surprised if we cover uh, this over by ourselves. Mm. I see. I see, see USC school. I see. Yeah. I see. see what color I'm drinking. Yeah. That USC man. <laughs> we Whatever. USC dog. Hey, we y'all. USC. You see, I told her, hey when I came in this morning, and I'll get my tea. I'm like, I need that USC this color. Man. I'm rocking, bro. Man. You need my hat. I'm rocking. All this capping you bro, doing listen, right now. I'm this man is well. hell. Hey man. I'll, hey, so I'm Still taking see. USC to cover, and we taking it over in that one. Like I said, I think USC, USC scores 49 by themselves in mm. that game. I love it. I love mean. it. Yeah, we're going to stay in the Big Ten. You might as mm. well go. Michigan. Got Michigan number 10 at Washington. The spread is Washington mm. minus three. Yeah, I can tell you why. why. Michigan had 30, I think, yards passing in the last two weeks. What? They suck at passing the ball. They can't throw the Michigan? ball. Michigan? They cannot throw the ball. They literally can't throw the ball, bro. And they number 10? Yes. They got a run game that's out. Yeah. They got the you know they got the Mullins. They got uh, yeah. number seven. I can't Edwards. Think Edwards, Edwards Donovan Edwards. He's sick. And yeah. then Alex Orgy, cold name by the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Alex Orgy. Yeah, he he good cold name. Yeah. 
He's sick. Like he's a cold. Like he's a big boy can run the option and shit. But like they don't have no offense like, as far as passing. Their passing. Yes. Well, Michigan non-existent. Michigan defense ranked top three, but their offense ranked outside of the hundred as <laughs> oh, well. Shit. Uh, uh, Washington is much better than they two and three record shows. Um, it's, Washington is significantly much better on offense than uh, Michigan. So. And that's the and, and Seattle's a place that is is, is so loud. It's yeah, like it's kind of like big yeah. yeah. So I'm taking man. It, I gotta. It's a mix up, man. I want Michigan to keep winning because that helps us. You see what I'm saying? Is right. if Michigan looks good, that means hey, that but we take your heart out. We're not trying to help y'all right, right now. We're trying to help these better. I ain't We're trying to help these better. I ain't giving a damn about it. Better, better yeah. got to make his own decision. I'm I, hey, listen, I'm it's going to go Washington. Decision. Yeah, that's, I'm going to go Washington. I just don't think Michigan has enough offense. Unless they go running crazy, like they, they got to have three, 400 yards rushing. Right. If they have 300 yards rushing. So you're going game, Washington? I'm going Washington. Is that lock of the week? No. That ain't your lock. I don't have no locks. You have the locks <laughs> of the week, sir. <laughs> man, it's out of I'm catch. going Michigan, man. Michigan. Is that your lock? Another lock? No, I'm going Michigan. you going Michigan. I already did a lock. I know. You can have another lock. I know. You if you're feeling froggy, leap. Michigan. Is this a lock? To win? Yes. Yes, that's a lot. Okay. So <laughs> see how he just so made me push me into nah. a lot. Tell him to ride with your boy. In a lot. He pushed me in a lot. But Michigan is a lot. Tate, Michigan. They got Washington minus three. Hey, man, forget all that, man. Tate, this is what I'll tell you. Tate, Michigan money line. Mm. Head up. Head up. Tate, Michigan money line. Yes. And that's lock. a lock. That's a lock. This man I'm telling lost you right his now, mind. that's a lock. The total is forty-one. Boy, this would be the first. Ah, oh, man, this could probably be the game where they start scoring all the points in America, man. But it's hard for me to think they're going over. They run the ball so much, Michigan dog. Like that's all they do. Watch them score forty-two points. I'm going under. That's twenty-one. I know. I'm going under. You going under? Yeah. I'm gonna go under. I'm gonna go on on this. I, I think just think gonna like it's gonna be like it'll be like 21 or something. Yeah, I'm it's, gonna go down on that one too, as well, man. Yeah. Hey, so before we get out of here, you got any more locks? I already told you, USC, yeah. man. Yeah, I'm saying it. No check college. Out my tea. You have no. You have no. USC, check out my. You tea. ain't got nothing for these NFL. USC, check out my T, man. USC, check out his T. It's been another great episode of our Smashing Dash Betting Podcast. We'll see y'all next week. Yeah.